Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of March, okay? Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. You will probably be watching this in February. It could resonate in February, but I would urge you to watch it in March, because this is a preview of what's to come in March, okay? So... What do we have for Sagittarius for the month of March? What do we have for Sagittarius for March? Older man. Dealings or relationship with an older man. Woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman. Wheel. Indecisiveness. Allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. That's interesting. So we have a couple here. We do have a couple. We may have two people that are coming together. We may have two people that are, are, that are opposing each other. You're going to be dealing with a man and a woman this month. But I feel like we have a couple. I really want to say that we have a couple that are coming together. I feel like both of these people, I feel like both of these people have been letting their life ramble aimlessly. And I think they're going to run into each other. You know, something like that. And I think they're right about the same age. Maybe there's a little bit of an age difference. Maybe not. If you're already in a relationship, <laughs> I still think there's going to be a run-in. <laughs> I do. I think there's going to be a run-in. Uh, either way, there's going to be some sort of significant conversation in March that has to do with, it's a destined situation because whenever I see a wheel, what, I don't care what the words say, it reminds me of the Wheel of Fortune and that's destiny. So somebody may be running into somebody that they are meant to run into for one reason or another, Okay. What is going on here? We have a man and a woman. Hmm. I think both of these people haven't been sure of what they want. You know, there's been some sort of confusion, you know, aimlessness. But I think there's going to be a, it's like a boom. It's like a, it's a run-in. It's like, it's like this. It's whether you're in it. It could be opposition. So interesting. What do we got? Looks like the man is older than the woman to me by some amount. What do we have for Sagittarius? Transformation. Now this is the death card. So a new beginning. Endings that lead to new beginnings. It's a time of transition. It's a time of release. So we have a separation or, you know, a death of a situation that leads to a new beginning. So this leads to a new life. You are about to start a new life after an ending of some sort. A new life is about to begin. What do we have for Sagittarius? It's a time of transition and new beginnings. It really is. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So you need to think positive. Something may have ended. It may have caused you a lot of pain or it may have been... Uh, well, death is typically uh, painful. It is painful. Grieving. Grieving. You may have grieved over a loss. Or you still may be grieving. I don't know. But you have a new beginning here. You need to think positive. Remember, your thoughts become things. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. You do have a new beginning that is coming here. It is coming after you've had some sort of significant ending in your life. I'm just going to show you what's on the bottom of this deck. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. You are going to be coming together with somebody that you are destined to come together with. 
Now, this positive thinking, remember I just said, your thoughts become things. So you are manifesting this new beginning, okay? Whatever is happening, and I know we have the Wheel of Fortune here. I'm positive that we do. You are moving in a new direction. I think that you don't even see it coming. This is like a, uh, you know, a unexpected uh run-in of some sort that is going to bring you together with somebody that you are meant to come together with at this time for some reason okay the masculine energy is the older one two of swords now the two of swords reverse is seeing very clearly coming out of denial um, making a decision, making a choice after being indecided, after being torn. Somebody was blocking perhaps their soulmate or they were blocking romance because of an ending that they were hurting over. But the Two of Swords reversed is opening up, opening up, letting go of fear, um, removing an obstacle, coming out of denial, seeing the truth, lies being exposed. You know, so that I'm not sure if there's some sort of exposure that causes you some sort of pain or causes you to end something but that is opening up queen of wands now this this is very exciting it is exciting there is a, and that's your energy this is there's it's a time it's a very fertile time it's a time of growth okay it's very it is it's a time of growth it's you need to be confident you need to hold your head up high be proud of what you've accomplished um there's a there's a strong sex appeal here as well, so I feel like somebody is really gonna see your uh, glow, or they're gonna see your attractiveness. Somebody's really gonna be attracted to you. You're gonna be glowing. You're gonna be shining. Um, you're gonna be in a very powerful position this month. I feel like you don't even have to do anything. It ju it's just gonna happen. It is. It's just gonna happen. You're you. It feels like we have a we have somebody's vision. This is a visionary, right? And, and what did this card say? Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So you are, it's, it, this is like the positive thinking, right? The power of positive thinking. Whatever it is, you are definitely calling in a soulmate. And you're going to run into this person. Um, oh, chariot. That's the run-in right there. The chariot reversed. So it is. It's like, it's like you bump, bump. I feel like you bump into this person. You're moving right along and you just get stopped right in your tracks. You run right into them, whatever that means. Um, now the chariot reversed, you're not, the chariot reversed is uh, needing discipline. That's also stopped, stopped. Hold on, let me get one more. Two of Cups. And I, I wanted to see what it was. I think that you have been having a hard time. Somebody has been having a hard time mastering their emotions. There could even, you know, I hate to say this, but I'm, hopefully it's not an accident or something. I mean, the chariot reverse could be, you know, a crash. I mean, I don't know. Hopefully that's not the case. I pray to God that it's not. But anyway, the, the uh, chariot, because it's a vehicle and that's stopped. But it could be stopped at a stoplight even. It could be stopped at a stop sign. It could be stopped somewhere going into a store or something like that. Anyhow, I do feel like you're... It, this is like not taking any action to look for a partnership because something has ended in your life and I feel like you're you you know you've been blocking it or you haven't been you know you your life has been ambling rainlessly aimlessly you know I feel like you're not even looking for this it feels like you're not looking for this partner you're not looking for this union you know, you're not really wanting to deal with any opposition. You're not wanting to take charge. You're not wanting to go in that direction, but it happens. It just happens. And it's clear. It's clear that there's a strong attraction. I feel like you're going to... Yeah, it is. That's exactly what it is, too. Anyhow, um... Hmm. And I feel, I feel like you, have, you aren't looking for this right now. You've been avoiding it, you or you haven't, aren't really looking for a partner because you're holding on to a partnership that 
uh, is blocking you. It's like you haven't completely released it, but I think that somebody, you're going to run into somebody that's going to help you to release it because the death card is about release. So I feel like you've been in a stagnant situation where there's been, you know, something has been blocking uh, your happiness and I feel like you're about to receive something that you aren't really even looking for, you know. I also feel like there's some sort of lies that are going to be exposed this month, okay. Now I'm changing the story. This is for somebody else. I don't know who. Somebody has been lying. They have been uh, pretending to be somebody that they are not. This person may be ill. They may be sick. Um, I feel like this person is uh, going to be angry over an outcome because there's anger here with that chariot reversed. We have somebody here that is very controlling. They're trying to control something. This person is... I feel like this person is going to have a major ending in their life because they're very forceful. They're trying to control something. This is like an outburst ahead. So I'm wondering what is happening. We have somebody here that's going to have an emotional outburst over a partnership. There's jealousy. There's some sort of jealousy here. Somebody is, gonna, is trying to stop somebody from a new beginning. And I feel like there could be... I don't know, I want to say consequences. There could be some consequences for that. Um, some sort of lies are going to be exposed about an individual who is angry. This person is manipulative and controlling. And they're trying to control. They're trying to control. And there's something that is going to be exposed about this person. Could be another fire sign an Aries Leo Sagittarius or it could be a Scorpio it could be a cancer um, could be somebody that has those traits in their chart you know those signs in their chart oh, we have somebody here that is a bully this person is a bully they're not happy they're they're they don't have any self-control and they're gonna get angry and they're gonna have an outburst this month and they could you know I don't know what, what's gonna happen to this person Nine of Wands reversed. And the Nine of Wands reversed is somebody that is, sits on a high horse that is very, very competitive, that has a huge ego, that has a lot of pride, that is unwilling to listen to anybody that is going to be facing a challenge. Somebody is going to get really angry this month. They're going to get angry and they're going to throw a fit. And it feels like they could, I don't know, what are they, it feels like, I, I, I I hate to say this, just some, it feels, I don't know, I feel like jail, five of swords, oh my god, this is a lose-lose situation, there's grieving, there is some sort of grieving, we have somebody here that wants to win at all costs, and I feel like they are hurting another person, there's some sort of uh, a need to walk away and let this person win. Let this, but we have somebody here that wants to win at all costs, and they're going to be hurting another person because they want to win at all costs. So that it really sucks, you know. But I think that that there's lies that are going to be exposed because this is exposure. So we got somebody here that is trying to hurt another person because of their ego. It is definitely because of their ego. Both of these cards are extreme ego. They don't they don't care who they hurt, and it feels like whoever they are hurting. You know, um, there's going to be consequences, and I don't even need the justice card. I feel like there's going to be consequences for that. Anyhow, um, we have somebody here that's angry. They're very, very angry. They're angry with everything that life has thrown at them, you know, and they're having a hard time dealing with the challenges. And so they're going to pick a fight, or they're going to fight, and they're going to end up, you know, losing somebody. They're going to end up losing somebody. Um, that was valuable they are they're going to lose somebody and they're going to be um needing to you know, they're going to be alone that's what's going to happen we have somebody here that's going to be alone because they are so angry and upset somebody's going to end up alone Because all they want to do is fight and prove themselves and be right. And, and being right is going to cause them 
a loss. It is going to cause them a loss of some sort. There's going to, I mean, you think about the death card, that is the, that's an ending. That's a major ending. That is the death of a situation. So there is going to be something that is coming to an end because we have an individual here that just wants to fight, that wants to prove something, definitely wants to prove something. They want to prove how strong they are. They want to prove that they're in control. They want to prove that they can win, you know, and while they're doing that, they're hurting another person or they're hurting other people. And I feel like they're going to be stopped right in their tracks. You know, there's, there, they are. They're going to be stopped right in their tracks. So that's another story for somebody. They're lying about something. They're hiding something, and the truth is going to come out. The truth is going to come out. So I don't, I don't know what that's about. But somebody here is trying to force. They're trying to force a connection, or they're trying to force uh, success on a partnership that isn't meant to be. And there is something else that is meant to be. So whoever this person that is angry, definitely angry, um, they are they are about to get some consequences. And I don't, I just, I really feel it very, very strongly. They're gonna lose something. They are gonna lose something. Um, Queen of Cups reverse. It's gonna be very, very, very emotional. Um, we have somebody here that is manipulative that can't master their emotions like i said earlier this is somebody there could be a drinking problem here or, an, or a drug addiction or something we have somebody here that is very wishy-washy very jealous um not very loving not very tender not very kind this person uh is emotionally uh Bank, bankrupt, <laughs> you know, doesn't, doesn't have, I mean, this person is cold. We have a very cold hearted individual here who doesn't know what love is. And I feel like they can't master their emotions at all. We have somebody here that, and there's going to be an outburst. It feels like, it feels like there could be disaster ahead. And I hate to say that to you, Sagittarius, but endings lead to new beginnings. And I know that's just not a story for everybody, but we it's definitely going to be an emotional month. There could be some tears that are shed over a loss because of somebody's uh, actions. You know, somebody's definitely going to be taking action based on their feelings. You know, they're going to act on their feelings. This is somebody who takes action, and this is feelings. So, and they're angry, and this is anger, and I want to win at all costs. So, we got somebody here that is very, very angry over something, and I feel like they're going to react to their anger, and they're going to, you know, uh, they're going to be blocked. It feels like they're going to be blocked, or they're going to be stopped right in their tracks, which is interesting. Um... So I know I changed the story quite a bit. Um, we definitely have a woman and a man here that's gonna that that is uh, very prominent. There's two people. There's two people that are are struggling. It's definitely a struggle. We have a struggle here. We have two people that are struggling. It's a it's to to win. This is like I'm gonna win. No, I'm gonna win. Not gonna win. I'm gonna win. You know, this is this is definitely a power struggle of some sort. And this power struggle is going to end this month. And there's going to be a loser. There is going to be a loser. And I feel like uh, it's going to be extremely emotional. It is going to be emotional. Um, there could be an accident. And I hate to say that. I do hate to say that. Um, Queen of Swords reversed. Oh, the Queen of Swords is somebody that is very, very cold, brash, bitter. Um, doesn't communicate. A lack of communication could make somebody angry. We could have somebody here that doesn't communicate. You know, they get a message and they don't respond. And that'll piss people off. So I do feel like we have somebody here that's going to get really pissed off and they aren't going to master their emotions and they're going to do something uh, that they're going to regret. Yeah, I mean, we have an individual here that is very, very uh, cold, not very loving at all. We have somebody here that is not very loving at all, and this person is trying to control a situation, wants to be in control. And I feel like they are going to get, they're going to do something that,
hurts another person and it's gonna I don't know, they could end up in jail. That's what I got. Good luck.